Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Uh, this tutorial, is, I'm going to demonstrate a, a technique I stumbled across here in Modo, but it is not application specific. You can use this exact same technique in probably any other modeling program. And it is a very fast and very efficient means way to create windows. I'm working on a large project right now which involves lots of different types of buildings and that also means lots of different types of windows so uh, because I am going to be doing uh, windows lots of them over and over again I wanted to know of a fast way to do it uh, that would save me time and that would be the most efficient so I'm just going to create a wall say this is the a wall to a a house and we'll uh, break it up subdivide it and add some uh, windows to it so I'll add a count of let me put this on uniform five that will work and I will select these alt C count of two R on the keyboard select that select that polygon control X control V to paste it back in there hide that okay these are going to be my windows and uh, this that's highlighted is the wall now typically uh, you see windows if you buy models or, or see models that people make typically uh, I see that when people make windows they will bevel in the edges like that and do something like what I'm doing here. Uh, control X, Control V. Let me uh, subdivide this up. I'm going very fast here uh, for this demonstration. I will take a little bit more time when I uh, show a better when I show you my better method. Typically, this is oftentimes what I see as the means that people use by constructing a window. And it works fine. Geometry-wise, it works fine. And if you're looking at it um, with a flat material um, applied on it, nothing with a texture, actually, say all pink, all blue, all green, all brown, it works just fine. It's fast and efficient. But if you're going to apply a wood texture to this, you will undoubtedly run into some problems and let me just load in here an image let me come in here to my UV view and I'm going to select these hors these uh, vertical pieces and we'll just ar I will just arrange them oops I missed this one I'll just arrange these vertically there we go and select everything else and lay it all out horizontal let's scale these up a little bit come back into my modeling view typically what you see let me hide the window panes is this and it works fine if you're not looking at it close up but if you do have a chance to look at it close up you see how the the cut of the window uh, each piece cuts into um, the other piece of geometry and this is just not proper construction for external windows not even for internal windows now this might be the type of modeling you'll see uh, say if it was fine woodworking a jewelry box or something like that but for windows it's just not realistic although it is very fast and time and, and you know time wise it's very efficient it's just not realistic so what I want to do is show you how to make windows like this but with the proper construction and it takes only a few moments more to have the geometry positioned correctly so let me control Z undo all of this and back to where we started from okay I've got my two windows I'm gonna shift H to hide everything else what I'm gonna do is come over here to edge mode select those edges alt C on the keyboard 
I want the count set to 2 and the mode to uniform. I'm going to click in the viewport. Actually, I'm going to set it to symmetry. And I'm going to move these edges out to the width that I want the edges, the border of my window. This is how wide I want it. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'll select the vertical edges, Alt-C on the keyboard, and as long as I don't do anything, if I just click in the viewport, that same offset distance will be used, and that's what I want. Okay, I'm going to select these top polygons and these bottom polygons, Control-X, Control-V on the keyboard, that, that removes it from the rest of the existing geometry. Select those two edges, select those two edges, select those, and select those, backspace to remove them. Now this center polygon is still selected, is still connected to these side pieces. So I'm going to select the center polygons, the glass essentially, control X, control V, and select that. The open bracket, which will invert my selection, be on the keyboard, and let's bevel this out. Select the bottom, pull it out a little bit more, B on the keyboard, we'll bevel it out one more time, edge mode, and there we have a little window sill. Okay, all I did is use the existing geometry and divide it up to create individual selections, just as if I created each little uh, piece, each little component of the window from scratch. It's perfect. This is the perfect construction. Okay, let's work on the windows now. Uh, I'm going to select one window, come over here to Axis Slice, click in the viewport, and I want this type of subdivision. I could, let me control Z, uh, I could come over here to the bit, to the subdivide tab and hit facet, but that just breaks it up, and then if I hit facet, uh, it divides it up again. I don't want that. I want to be able to control the number of subdivisions along the X and the Y. So that's why I'm using Axis Slice. I'll select that polygon, Axis Slice, click in the viewport, and do the same thing. Now, come over to here to Edge Mode. Select these edges. And B on the keyboard. Click in the viewport and just drag. And I'm going to select these. Whoops. Select those, select those, select those, select those, backspace to remove them. Select those, select those, backspace to remove them. Now, come under polygon mode, select these vertical pieces. Control X, Control V, and that removes it, dis, you know, disconnects it from the surrounding geometry and now I'll just select my not that one select these mullions be on the keyboard click in the viewport and just drag out a little bit now now I have the proper geometry it really doesn't look any different than the other method I showed the typical quickie method but the noticeable difference now is going to be when we apply a texture to it. So let me see. Do I have? I have to put my material back in. When I undid every everything, I lost my material. There we go. Okay, let's come in here to UV mode. I'm just going to come to a full screen here and let me see where all my pieces, everything is broken up perfectly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select everything, arrange it all horizontally. I guess I could uh, scale it up a little bit. Now this is not a seamless wood texture, so we will see seams, but the point is when we come to our window here, let me hide the window panes each on the keyboard to hide them. Now you see the window has, at least for the wood, it has the proper construction. Everything is laid out as you would expect it to be 
and it appears as you would expect it to be uh, on your model and in real life you don't have those 45 degree corners uh, meeting one another this is uh, a very fast very efficient way to properly construct windows uh, for your buildings and I make a lot of buildings I like doing that and I cannot think of a faster more efficient means of proper window construction but you can you can uh, rest assured that if I do somehow manage to improve upon this method I will certainly be posting an update uh, over at Geek It Play. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. It does. This is not Moto specific. You can use this in any other modeling program. So thanks for watching here at Geek It Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.